Hello everyone, welcome to Jabberwock Tavern. I'm your host today, Black Mage, and today we are going to clear Wilderness Survival, Dark Long Night in Figure Fantasy, Under Heart and Torment Difficulty. Okay, let's see the challenge. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, this challenge is uh, to achieve victory, finish the battle with Midori at 100% health, so we will have to use Midori here, and we need to clear the stats within 25 seconds. As you can see here from the unit that we can deploy, uh, there is only one, yeah, there's only uh, two frontliner that you can use, that is uh, Midori and Ayane, so usually we are not using a defender and substitute them with helper as the frontliner instead but this time because yeah there's only two real frontliner we will just use them i guess so yeah we, we are going to put midori and ayane on the field uh the next is Zeno, and yeah there's only one more unit that we can use we are going to play zephyr as always okay so yeah this will be our lineup uh, as you can see here uh the key for this uh, challenge is we want to clear the the bottom, yeah, the backline of enemy as fast as possible, so that yeah, so that uh, Ayane doesn't have to move. If you uh, put Midori here instead, uh, for example, like this lineup, uh, Ayane, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Midori will stop here and hit the milk instead when. Yeah, when uh, they when she have finished defeating this enemy, so that will make Ayane have to move, have to move after the milk is defeated. So yeah, that's why we put uh, Midori on the middle and put Zeno and Zephyr to help uh, Midori damaging the enemy, uh, to help Midori clear her line. So yeah, that's how uh, that's how the strategy is, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, let's see how this lineup goes. So yeah, after defeating this tech line, Midori will hit the... What was it again? The tank? Or yeah, this uh, enemy that has turret as Gatling Gun at the top. And yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, as you can see, our Ayane is moving a bit. So yeah, if you are lucky and get a lot of crits for Midori, um, yeah, Ayane will not have to move at all. And that's how you get the fastest clearing time. Yeah, by having a lot of crit uh, from Midori. So yeah, as you can see here, the hard one, yeah, uh, the fastest time is uh, 22 seconds. If you get a lot of crit with that lineup. Uh, next will be the Torment difficulty. This one is uh, more simple than the previous one. We only need to clear the stats within 30 seconds and have uh, all 5 alive between survive. So as you can see here, there is only 2 frontliner as uh, the previous one. But now we have another attacker, Fazorin. But Fazorin cannot be placed in the front line because uh, she is a uh, militarist and militarists have this uh, special that boosts damage when there is no surrounding enemy so she will will like to not have enemy around her so yeah this will be mostly this will be our lineup let me check uh, if uh, my lineup is correct but yeah it should be something like this uh, hold on let me uh, yeah before i'm checking let me tell you the idea of this lineup so the idea of this lineup is Having, yeah, similar from the previous one, having uh, the figurine, <laughs> we need to have the figurine have less travel on the field. So, uh, by doing this lineup, Midori will. Oh, her, sorry, Midori is gone. But yeah, by having this lineup, Midori will clear the bottom 
the bottom line uh, by herself and after she clear this bottom line uh, she will help I mean she will stop here and then she will help uh, attacking the milk um, Ayane doesn't will not have to move much because she will only need to attack the milk and after she finish attack the milk she will either just go up and go right and uh, Midori is gonna end it and yeah, same as Midori. After Midori finish uh, with the milk, she can just uh, go diagonally and hit the other enemy. So yeah, this will be this will give us the the smallest time for traveling. Uh, if you put them something like this, uh, they will sometimes have to travel like twice or yeah something like that. So yeah, this will be the most. Uh, efficient way to travel. Now let me check if this is really the lineup that I use. Hold on, where is my screenshot folder? Yeah, it is the lineup that I use. So yeah, that's basically the strategy. Let's see how this lineup goes. As you can see here, uh, the bottom line is almost uh, finished, one of them. Either you will move forward and attacking the back line. The milk is also... That is also dead now. Midori goes up and yeah, you can immediately just shoot the dead one. And that's it, we managed to clear this within, I don't know, 26 seconds? Oh, 27 seconds, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's how you clear this, uh, clear the torment difficulty. If you are lucky with the uh, crits from Midori again, similar from the previous challenge, you can finish it within 26 seconds as what I did here. So yeah, that's it everyone, that's how you clear this challenge, Wilderness Survival Dark and Long Night under Hard and Torment difficulty. I hope you all can clear it too. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye!